This week on Punched Up, comedy writers Lauren Ash, Scott Montgomery, Matt Barham, and Pat Thornton help a young candidate run for mayor of Toronto. Let's start. Sean Bruce is a mayoral candidate. He's 22 years old. He goes to University of Guelph at Humber. What would make this experience a success for you? Just a rise in youth voter turnout. Now, Sean Bruce wants our help with his, uh, you know, when you get together and... Campaign. Yes. You're um, leading this and you didn't know the word campaign? I knew campaign. I knew campaign. I'm just very excited for him. I'm leading this punch up uh, for the first time. It took a long time. And uh, Sean's in, in, uh, in good hands. Okay, can I please get in front? You buy white t-shirts. What is that? I'm leading, okay? Hello, hello, ding, ding. <laughs> Hi there, are you Hi. guys from Punched Up? Yes, awesome. you're Sean? Yep, I'm Sean, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sorry. Lauren, Pat, Scott. Hi. This Great. is Sean, Sean Daniela, Daniel and Andrew. <sighs> I'm really excited to work with the Punched Up crew. I think that we've got a great thing going right now with the campaign, but I think it can be better, and I think these guys may be the thing that we need to take this thing, to win this Mayor of Toronto election. The theme of our campaign is focusing on the youth and getting them engaged in the political process, getting them interested in what's going on in the city today. May I say that I've noticed a theme uh, here, and it uh, is that you are very fond of this shirt. That's right actually here. just a coincidence. All right, That's check that. All right, because there are no coincidences in politics. Now, the shirt says everything. The shirt says, I have stick to itness, but it also says, I only have one shirt. Did you buy that necklace? Yeah, I did. So you want the gay vote? I want any vote I can get. Makes sense. So what's up? I'm not going to be able to assist you with the show. Oh, OK. I'm running a real campaign here, a real election. We need Sean to win. OK. OK, but I have Athena and Kim here. They're very competent young ladies. We have a lot to get done this week. This is it. This is the final right. push for votes. And yeah. we're going to get Sean elected mayor of Toronto. Let's start with the rally. Pat, I would like you to organize a speaker. Scott, you will be in charge of PR. That is your go. Um, public relations. I'm going to be handling Sean's image. Well, well, why do I handle the image? Because look, I am. But that's you know that that's what I'm good at. There is something you can do for me. How about if you... Like my balls. Thank you. You know what? No, I'm going to be handling his image, okay? Lauren can take image. She can work on the clothes. And I'm going to work on making one of Toronto's first bad boy mayors. You know what I could do? I can make a campaign commercial. Uh, it's really more of a PR thing, Patty. Actually, it's more of something I thought I was going to do. Anyway. Yeah, you know what? I'll handle it. Because I got a, a guy who can really give me a, an inside angle. You got, you got a guy? Who's your guy? Don't worry about it. Well, you just said you got a guy. I shouldn't uh, I don't. I don't have a guy. I mean, if I did have a guy, it'd be really great. But uh, I don't have a guy. He's really great. So I know that uh, we were saying that style was really important and it can be beneficial to the campaign and things. So I got some uh, earlier stage stuff that we were thinking about kind of releasing and... You uh, haven't released this though? No, 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 that's all internal right okay, now. Okay, thank God. Why? This just looks really amateur, you know? I mean, I think this whole look is all wrong. You don't need to be wearing that kind of balloony shirt. I mean, you could have a tapered shirt. I mean, I think this whole look is all wrong. I think we need to completely take this amateur level, toss it, recycle bin, and let's just weave ourselves a professional look. I, I just don't want to take anything away from my campaign team that have put some like no. hard work into this. Okay, um, uh, how do I say this without being offensive? Your campaign team, kind of douchebags. No. But we're all on the same team. Yeah, right? we're all together. We all have the same goal. My campaign team's been working really, really hard, but maybe the poster could be better. Maybe these guys do know what they're talking about. I'm willing to go forward for that next step. I just think there's got to be some give and take, and we got to find something. I mean, I, I, you know, I have a lot of experience in photography and okay. fashion design, okay. so I can see you, you know, f stop of 24, that type thing. He needed to be completely overhauled, and I was completely the person to do it. We all really like Sean. We just feel he needs a little bit of pepper. Bzzz. What's that? Buzz? That's the buzz. You guys don't have that yet. 
but you will, and that's the important thing. This is not gonna create a buzz, okay? But all the pep rallies in the world, they're not gonna create the kind of buzz that we can create. Cheerleaders are a huge buzz. Wherever we go, our okay. fan base Thank goes. Okay. What I'm saying is that no one wants to see young, nubile, taut. I'm sorry, what? Limber. These kids think that they can walk around in a cheerleader outfit and they've created a buzz. All they've created is uh, an erection. Affordable transit is definitely key. Yeah, I agree. And garbage, too. The city is just overrun right now. And you know what? The recycling programs right now, they're just not adequate. We need to clean up Toronto. In a big way. OK, I'm falling asleep right now, guys. Got any peppier issues? I mean, the issues that they're talking about suck. So we got to find something, an issue that people can really grab onto, you know? Something that no one else is talking about. Deep throat? Hey. So I'm working on this mayoral campaign, but I'm looking for like a hot button issue that nobody's talking about. Got any ideas? Affordable housing, homelessness, transit in the city. Yeah. Some people mentioned those. Uh, got anything else? Well, we've got a climate change crisis, so talk about renewable energy, energy efficiency, bike lanes. Bike lanes, yeah. It's kind of Snoresville. I was thinking, like, space aliens. Well, I don't think anybody else will be talking about that. This would be all mine. That's what I want to hear. Thanks a lot. This is really cool, by the way. Meeting like this. So, in the Canadian Federation, there are three levels of government. Federal, provincial, and, of course, municipal. One of the biggest differences at the municipal level is there are no political parties. Some think this is good, some not so good. Sean, what's your point of view? Uh, I think it's really important at the municipal level to well, have... Slow down, slow down. You don't have to answer that. Well, I, I can do it. No, no, no. Let us, let us deal with this. Listen, uh, the candidate will answer any questions you have but I think you're being a little bit vague. That is a simple and legitimate question. What the hell are you guys thinking? What the hell was that? No, it's our game now. We're yeah. gonna play by our rules. We are not in the kiddie pool anymore, okay? We know what we're doing. Let us do it. You are too young, you have no real political experience, and as a mayoral candidate, you're a nuisance. Well. All right, let's uh, just relax and uh, look good there. That's yeah. good. Yeah, more eyes, intensity in the eyes. Yeah, attack the camera, eat the camera. Yes, fantastic. Oh, yes, I love that lean, very manly. Let's get one of these hands behind the back, you know what I mean? Chest up, yeah, that's it. And then just give me a little lean. Give me a little lean in. Yes, further, 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 further. That's great, yeah. Okay, can I just get some options? Oh, okay. Yeah, I give you one of these. Like you're, uh, because like aliens are coming in and you're kind of, they don't look friendly, a little freaked out by them. What does this have to just, do with? Just, let's just see it, okay? They don't look friendly. You're freaked, you're freaked, you're freaked. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to try something different. These aliens look friendly, so we're going to give them one of these. We're going to give them one of these, okay? Okay. Okay, let's see it. I don't really get it. Why, why the aliens? Are you sure this yeah, is? Yeah, that's the look. The purpose of media training is to teach you how to take charge. This is going to be a real interview. I mean, it may seem to be play acting, but it's a real interview. You are too young, you have no real political experience, and as a mayoral candidate, you're a nuisance. Well, I, I think that's a very negative way to look at... Uh, what do you mean a negative way? That's the way you're perceived, that's the way you are. As a young person in uh, the Toron uh, Toronto Why community... Why are you arguing with me? Don't spend a lot of time paving the way. Too much, yeah. Here's what I stand for. 
Okay. What you've got to learn is no matter how tough the question is, no matter how insulting it is, you do a thing called stop, think, take charge. If you run into the kind of interviewer who wants to suck you in mm -hmm. to an argument. Like the engine of a plane. You're, yeah, you're a, you're a, who is this guy? You're like a seagull. Who he, is this guy? I'm uh, Scott, I'm his, I'm his man. <clears throat> well, Maybe just talk. you need some training too. <laughs> okay. I mean, in a lot of ways, I should probably be in charge of this whole punch up uh, because I'm, you know, I'm something of a political animal, you know. You may think that I'm being excessively hard on you, and perhaps I am. And what you would really like is a sweetheart interview. You want a girlfriend. So, hey, you. What? Get out of here. I'll be over there. There. I'm watching, though. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good, good, good talk so you far. You don't need help like that. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for doing that. Larry was very intimidating. I definitely learned a lot. It was a very positive experience. The kid is as green as grass, but I think he has a future. Uh, Larry? Sorry, Larry, hey. Uh, Scott, from back in the... Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, remember. Yeah. I actually have been thinking lately that maybe, uh, maybe I should run for mayor. I mean, I think what this city needs is, you know, someone with some vision and, like, you know, someone like a, like a Kennedy. You know, I think that's me. Too bad, you're just about six weeks too late registering. Six weeks ago. Mm hmm. But um, maybe next time. In fact, that's perfect. We got plenty of time to work out our campaign. So I can count on your support? Because I felt the chemistry. Great. So we'll be in touch. You look great. Huh? I, I feel like an idiot. You feel like an idiot? Yeah. I'm running for mayor, I, I, why am I looking like a rap artist? How does he look? Good. Listen to me, okay? We're gonna go in there, I'm handing you youth on a silver platter. All you have to do is pick it up. And eat it. Matt, Matt. really has no idea what he's doing. Uh, Matt he, has no clue. It's not, not happening. I thought Matt's ideas were weird enough, and then I saw Pat's ideas about the campaign, and they were even worse. Thank you. Be quite pleased. Da, 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 da. In the Toronto municipal election, there's a certain candidate that has no position on space aliens. I'm not saying who it is, but I wonder, does he have something to hide? Vote for Sean Bruce. He is definitely not a space alien but he may be the only candidate that the aliens will talk to. If they're real, and if they come. What the hell is that? That's your new commercial. Aliens? I'm not saying there are aliens. I'm not saying if there were aliens, we'd need to do anything about it. I'm just saying, no one else is talking about it. That has nothing to do with what he's, any of his issues or anything. What? Oh, his issues suck, man. This is the new issue. Okay, aliens? this is what no one else is talking about. Forget the commercial. Tell me you have a speaker for tonight. Speaker. Don't. You don't. I do, I do. Yes. Yeah. Who? He's awesome. Thank you, guys. No problem. Hey, no worries for uh, doing this for us. It's a big favor. Uh, bit of a problem, though. Oh. Okay. Uh, made a mistake. Mm -hmm. May or may not have sent you an email. Uh. We'd appreciate you to do not look at. Okay. Whatever you do, just don't mention it on air. Okay. In front of Sean, because gotcha. we're good. Just could land me in some hot water, and I gotcha. appreciate that. Flow 93.5 hits that movie. Justin Timberlake and My Love before that. The sounds of Tupac and Ashanti. Pox Live. Good morning. It is Slim and Melanie at 916. Now we have a very special guest yes, in the studio with us, Sean Bruce. How you doing? I'm good. Thanks for having me, guys. You're running for mayor of Toronto, and you're only 22 years old. What's the feedback been like for you? The feedback's been really positive. Um, we've had a lot of strong support. I can't help but notice like you're like wearing a velour suit with like a lot of uh, what we call gaudy chains and blinged out. Is that trying He's to very be very blinged? He's very to be blinged. hip with the kids. Are you trying to fit yeah, in? Yeah, I'm trying to fit in with the youth, and I thought this might might help. Really. But tell me about the, the Paris Hilton. You, Paris Hilton? You know. I've, I've never met Paris Hilton. Oh. It's funny because uh, we have this wonderful picture of uh, you in, in Paris. <laughs> I, I swear I've never, I, I don't know where this could have came from. What the f 
Is that? I'm creating a buzz. It wasn't anything before. It was a boring guy, okay? Thank you. I just created a bad boy. Whatever rocks your boat, man. For the kids. Yeah. For Paris. Yeah. The whole me having sex with Paris Hilton picture, that was just a poor Photoshop stunt. I guess it did make for some good radio. Is this your way of thanking me? No! What is that? Deep throat? You hear? Oh, hey. So I was supposed to book this keynote speaker for this rally, uh, but I, I didn't. So I was wondering if you could recommend anybody? What's your budget? Budget? Wow. Uh, probably not much. They're just kids. Well, why don't you try Jack Layton? Jack Layton? You think he'd do something like this? Yeah, he connects with the young people. He's got some ideas they want to hear. Give him a try. OK, I'll, gi I'll give him a call. Thanks. Oh, Deep Throat? Yeah. Uh, do you have his number? It's in the white pages. Idiot. So, um, you can't fire me. Please. Uh. Who was the biggest bad boy in Canadian politics? Diefenbaker. No. Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Right? Okay. He gave his finger to the West. Right? He said, just watch me. Chicks loved him. He's a bad boy, and that's what we want to inject in you. Okay? Some bad boy-isms. I'm not going to give the finger to anybody, though. Oh, you don't have to give the finger by being a bad boy. OK. You know, you just have to sort of have that swagger, that thing, that quality where they just go, like, this guy could do anything at any time. Also, you need a thing, like a hook. All right, Reagan, what did he have? Uh, he had jelly beans. OK. Jimmy Carter, peanuts. All right? Sean Bruce, paper fans. Huh? It's broken. We'll talk about the paper fans. I like the paper fans. How about a rose? We borrow from Trudeau. Throw in a rose. OK. I really like the idea of referencing Pierre Trudeau. And then Matt brought in this whole stand-up comic routine. You are a politician. You are out there, and the press is going to be there, and you're trying to get out your point of view, all right? Yeah. What happens is some guy calls you out and starts getting you off topic. Just like a stand-up comic is uh, doing his act, you know, he's there, and then there's some guy in the audience who won't shut up, right? You have to have a comeback. What do you say? Mr. Bruce, should they tear down the Gardner Expressway? Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when cousins marry. <laughs> Next question. He looks great. Are you going to push for the legalization of marijuana? Are you high? Get out of here. What the hell have you done? Sean, you're only 22 years old. Does that work for or against you? Both. Look at him. He's the new Trudeau. He's not the new Trudeau. If Trudeau was a stand-up... That would be what he would look like. What makes you think you're qualified enough to be a mayor? Look, do I jump on the bed when you're trying to do your job? Great plan. Awesome plan. Sean, with an attitude like that, how do you expect to get young people to come to the polls? Could you hold that question? You, we gotta talk. What? I've had enough. I'm running for mayor, and we have to take this seriously, and my reputation hey, is on the line. Look. No, 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 look. Obviously, you have a warped perspective on this because you looked great. Th this is over. We're done. You're fired. <laughs> OK. Um, I'm the leader. And uh, I never get to lead. So um, you can't fire me. Please. Uh, I, 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 you give me I, no I, other I, choice. I, I, I don't know what they're going to do to me. Well, best of luck, because this is, this is done. I was never going to vote for you, OK? Real mature. We had to fire them. They didn't come through for us. I think they tried their best, but I don't think they're cut out for politics. I don't think that they were really taking us very seriously and taking Sean's campaign for mayor of Toronto very seriously. Can we uh, still come to the rally? 
Well, did you get Jack Layton like you said you would? Yeah. I guess you can come to the rally. Well, stop. Stop. We stop. Whoa. No, Whoa. stop. You guys are not coming in. Jack Layton is not here. But I, I called him. No. Yeah, you called a Jack Layton. He's a plumber from Etobicoke, and he's drunk at the bar. Still gonna speak, though, right? Why don't you admit right now that you've been trying to sabotage this campaign from the beginning? Why don't you admit that? Get out of here! Matt, he's a really nice guy, but uh, not a great leader and a little bit of an idiot. Uh, you guys want to go for sushi or...? The real Jack Layton couldn't show up. The plumber that they got to show up had a very great time. He had to be removed from the bar for puking and uh, fondling women. So that th thanks, Punch Up, for that. Am I surprised Matt got us fired? No. Um, am I surprised that this entire Punch Up has gone down in flames because of Matt? No. Yes, I got fired, but that was part of my master plan, which was to empower the youth. Sean fired me. What better example? It still hurts. Did a lot for him. <laughs>